Hi, Sharon Danley here with another two minute tip. This week it's doing a milkmaid braid with some canackle on hair. So as you can see, I have uh, no hair padding, no back combing, no hairspray, no anything. And I would like to make a point here that I've mentioned a few times, and that is your makeup is more important than your hairstyle, and your hairstyle is more important than your hair color. Not to say that style and makeup together don't give you the ultimate package, but if your hair is like in a real mess, it's funny how you can get by with it a little bit messy or not done as well when you have some, you know, your makeup on. Okay, so back to the hair. Last week I did one on a video on hair padding, and this is the result, a long rope and a long braid that I made and then I also made a shorter one that I'm going to put in another video so let me get oh and I've got a smaller piece of hair padding and one um, extension that I'm going to put in because I, I only need the extension to go to here because that's where I'm going to um, that's where the roll is going to take place. So let me get this organized. So I'm going to part my hair just above my crown here. And I'm going to take that hair and some of the hair in the front. And I'm going to back comb that and lay it forward. And then I'm going to take this hair padding, which by the way, just a second, been asked by a few people how to make the hair padding. Well, it's really simple. You just take some of the knackle on hair, your own hair, an old braid, an old whatever, and you simply wrap it in a thin, fine hair net that you can find at your local drugstore, at Walmart, or I guess Target in the US. I try to get them in gray, but you know, they're not as plentiful. So I just wrap it around and then I can mold it and put it into whatever shape I want. I can make them as big or as small as I want. And um, you know, it's real easy. Okay, back to putting this in. So the bumpet, hair padding or styling wrap, goes in with two bobby pins with the teeth down. Then take the extension, put it over top, install, brush the hair back, and let me check to make sure Now you can see the different lengths here. I don't need it to go any further than that, so that's just fine. And um, now let me get the other piece. When I want this to last all day, I spray around the top part to make sure it's just the way I want it, and then I get ready to install. So I fold it in half, and I place it in the center, and hold it down with a smaller bobby pin going in to the length of the braid. Then I make sure the hair here and here is, uh, is where I need it. Now I'm going to turn around and again I'm going to use small bobby pins for this and making sure that the hair is all out. I'm going to place it where it feels comfortable, put a pin in, going into the braid, bring it around, fold it under, make sure that you can see me okay, then put another pin in. Then I take, oops, have to check again, because it's so easy to go off camera when you're the director and nobody's helping you. So I go across, go over top, tuck the end in, and place in another bobby pin going into the braid. So see, what that has created is hair padding that's included in with the, um, 
with the braid. So now what I will do is go around and make sure I have my hair placed just the way I want it. Let me check that out and I'll be right back to you if I can get this figured Okay, out. so what I do next is I go around and just lightly back comb. You've seen me do this before, but this is just another method because I'm going to wear the hair over top of this braid. And then I'm going to go around underneath at the back and back comb it too. Just softly, just, just to give it a little bit of the oomph factor. Now I'm brushing over the top of the, of the hair because I don't want to um, disturb the back combing. And I'm tucking this in because there's a space in the center there that I've left so that I, I can pin and tuck. Now I'm going to take the other side just smooth it out on the surface. Whoops. Bring it over. Bring the hair over. Tuck it all in. Now let me let me check this. This, of course, you want to go around with your check to make sure everything's tucked in. Just give me a second to uh, clean that up a little bit. So there it is. Finished product. Pretty fast to do. Pretty easy to do. And it looks pretty good. Now for those that have good head shapes and thick hair and all that sort of thing, no need to, to be bothered putting in an extension or a crown, but for those of us with thinner, finer hair, that helps a lot to give the sense of the hair being thicker and all the same weight. Uh, either way, it works really well. Again, canacalon, fast, easy, blend it, make a rope, make a braid, and then you've got this updo that you can wear anywhere. I've worn it for all kinds of things and I've worn this most of my life too. I remember wearing this back in the corporate world um, uh, in when I was in my 30s. So again, it's simple and it's fast and when you use the full length of the braid, you create the padding already built in. Anyway, fast, easy and oh so chic. We'll see you next time.